Hello everybody, this is my other project pan update. So I recently put up my makeup project pan update. So this one is all of my non-makeup but other beauty related products. So this is a similar format to my other project pan. It's 10 items and it's rolling. And I'm pleased to say that looking at my notepad, I have used up four items last month which is really good progress. And I'm currently now at the point where I'm a bit stuck as to what to include next into my project pan so currently my project pan only has nine items because i don't actually have any other items to include in my project pan except hair care items but i don't want to overload both my project pan and my hair with too many hair care items so i might stay on nine items for quite some time or it might be that it is at some point appropriate to add in another hair care item but we will see and i'm glad that i've got to this point because that is the whole point of doing this other project pan i had too many other <laughs> beauty items that i just wanted to get used up i wanted to like streamline my collection and i feel like that is what i have achieved so let's get into the update let's tell you about the items i've used up what i've replaced them with and the progress on the other items Okay, first item is one that I can't actually show you because I accidentally put it in my recycling bin which was collected this morning. I try to keep hold of the project pan items from my empties video because I film my empties first. Any project pan items that are in my empties I keep hold of to have them to hand to show you for the project pan video and then I put them in the recycling. But I seem to have forgot with this one. And this one is my Elemis Peptide Plumping Pillow Facial Mask. This was the tub that looked like a face moisturiser and you apply it like a moisturiser so after you have done your evening skincare, right before you hop on into bed, put a layer of this mask all over your skin, you massage it in like you would do a moisturiser and then in the morning you do your normal skincare routine so you wash it off in the morning. It's not a mask that you leave on for say 10-15 minutes and then have to wash off. Now this was a mask that I got two years ago and it had a three month shelf life. So it was one that definitely needed to be used up. However, saying that, I feel like it was still safe to use two years later. My skin didn't have, you know, any adverse reactions to it. And this is the type of product that is meant to make your skin look more refreshed, more awake, make you look less tired. And I do feel like it did that. I quite like the Peptide 4 range from Elemis. I feel like it's a really nice range to make your skin look refreshed and awake and alive. So I really liked the effects of that product. However, I wouldn't repurchase it because I'm not a mask person. I don't really wear them. I'm only wearing them at the moment because I kind of need to get them used up. They're in my project pan. I don't feel like masks have a place in my skincare routine. So not an item that I would repurchase despite liking it. And it took me three uses last month to completely use up. And I finished it off on the 23rd of August. Just want to say as well that my usage for these project pan items is quite low and that's partly me just you know not really being on it this month but also if they are skincare items I am slowly starting to reintroduce items into my skincare routine because I don't want to aggravate my previous allergic reaction. So that item I've chosen to replace <laughs> with the Tanologist Self Tan Mousse Medium and I'm kind of chuckling at this because I am rubbish at applying fake tan. I kind of go through phases where I go, oh my god I'm so pale, I want a bit of a tan. So I'll buy a fake tan, I'll use it once and then I won't touch it for months. And that's just because I find fake tanning such a faff. I can't be arsed with it. You've got to shave, you've got to exfoliate, you've got to put moisturiser on certain dry areas. You've got to be really exact when you apply it. Then you've got to be careful what you sit on and what you touch because you don't want it to transfer. And then what if it doesn't develop properly? What if it's the wrong shade or it's really streaky and patchy? And I just can't be bothered with all of that. So that kind of happened, I think, last year with this. I noticed I was quite pale, wanted a fake tan, bought this, used it once popped it on the dressing table and I've not touched it since. So I thought, okay, let's get this used up, let's put this in my project pan, and I've not used it yet. So I think my usage of this is going to be really low, unless I can put up on my phone some sort of weekly reminder, say like on a Sunday, I can put a bit of fake tan on. Only if I apply it to say like my legs, it doesn't have to be a full body fake tan. If I just want, you know, slightly tanned legs, I can do that. And then I can use a tanning body lotion for the rest of my body. That 
might work actually i might do that I might set that up because yeah i do feel like my usage of this could be quite low but i don't use it i want to get it used up and i don't want to waste it i don't just want to throw it away because i think it's still fine so yeah if i can set up that reminder then hopefully this one can be used up in two or three months potentially next item on my list is a skincare item it's the medicate press and glow daily exfoliating pha tonic i don't have much of this left at all i've got probably three quarters of a centimeter left of this i only used it four times last month again that's just because i wanted to take things easy with reintroducing skincare products but i have now started skin cycling if you are on the skincare side of tiktok you might have come across it and it's basically where you have like a four day routine so you have day one is exfoliate day two is retinol and day three and four is barrier repair and you then repeat the process so on my exfoliation days this is what i use use a recyclable pad on the top of this and you push down i use about five pumps probably that's for my face and my neck and because i'm now using this once every four days i'm hoping to be done with this by the end of this month because there's not a lot left of it at all and i can also use it for areas like the base of my feet to kind of be a little bit of like a, a foot exfoliation that might be another way to kind of get down this but i do mostly use this as a face product so hoping to be done with this one this month because there's not a lot left and i'm now back in a regular routine of using it another item that i don't have much left of i only used it 13 times last month though so not as much as i would have liked my opi cuticle oil again i've probably got about three quarters of a centimeter of this one left as well this one lovely product really do notice a difference in the strength of my nails the condition of my skin around my nails as well my nails and my skin have been quite dry recently and remembering to use this just really helps soften them helps with the condition of them it is a really great product but as you've probably seen from my project pan when i've told you how often i've used this i'm either really on it or i'm not and last month i wasn't so hoping to be a bit more on it this month with this one and then i might be done with it in two months possibly i don't think i'm going to be done with it this month even if i do use it every day i think there's probably a little bit too much left in here to be done in a month so very close with this one the month after pretty sure i'll be done with it then okay the first of my hair care products tg s factor smoothing lusterizer i only used it three times last month and that's because I tend to use this in the lengths of my hair right before I blow dry. And because the weather has been quite hot recently, I haven't wanted to blow dry, so therefore I haven't then used this item. You can use it on dry hair, but you've got to use such a small amount, and I don't really think to use this on dry hair. My hair is naturally quite silky, it's quite straight, so I don't feel like I need a defrizzer and tamer on dry hair. That's really why I just apply it to wet hair or if I've curled my hair so i haven't really felt the need to use this product that much recently so three times last month maybe a little bit more this month because as the temperature drops a little bit and my hair takes a good three hours to completely dry i don't want to be sat there cold with wet hair so my usage next month might actually be a little bit more but for now three uses haven't really noticed a reduction in how much of this is left so probably until the end of the year this one will last me okay so next item is an empty and i have the packaging for it it's the boots coconut and shea foot cream cut it open scraped out all the product and i have really been enjoying having a foot cream in my collection and i'm pretty good at applying it so i'll apply it of an evening whilst i'm sat watching tv because i can spend a little bit of time massaging it in and then because i'm not up and about i'm not on my feet i can you know let it sort of sink in however saying that this one sinks in really nicely as well you don't have to kind of wait ages for it to sort of dry you can pop it on and then get straight back on with your day now my feet are in pretty good condition anyway just a couple of little patches of a bit of dry hard skin but nothing too major but since using this on a regular basis my feet are a lot softer now they're a lot more hydrated they're smoother and i think i'll always have a foot cream in my collection now and having had a couple of foot creams in my project pan, I feel like I'm 
in a routine of applying them on a regular basis and that's really why I put the foot cream in my project pan not to use the item up not because I didn't like the item but to get me in a regular routine of applying it and I feel like I'm in that regular routine now so I think I'll always have a foot cream in my collection but I don't think they will be in my project pan because I'm in that mindset now of applying them regularly and saying that I used this one seven times last month and finished it up on the 10th so only a couple days where I didn't apply it okay next is another skincare item and another one that i've got quite low usage of but we know why this is the skinny tan coconut water face serum tanning drops used them three times last month i suppose i could have put them into a body moisturizer but i do want to i suppose keep this to face tanning because i do have my self tan <laughs> and a tanning body moisturizer in my project pan so yeah three uses of this but i now have set up that reminder again on my phone to apply this every other night so now that i know that my skin is fine i should be able to get through this that little bit more quickly i've got about three quarters of this left over so probably two or three months left for this product and although the the tan on this is a little bit muddy not that vibrant it is nice to add just a little bit of color to your face another empty that i seem to have the packaging for is the bayless and harding mulberry fizz fragranced hand and body lotion i use this as a body lotion very nice scent that winter berry scent but what i didn't like with this is that when you rub it in it does take a while to get rid of those white streaks it doesn't sink in straight away so you are you know moisturizing white streaks sort of like into your skin but once that's all been massaged in it is a really nice hydrating body lotion doesn't make your skin feel very sticky or tacky afterwards you can get dressed straight away as well so a very nice hydrating body lotion light to the scent and yeah i would use this again i'd be interested in trying other scents from bayless and harding as well and you can get these in nice little gift sets so it's a good idea for like little christmas presents as well and i used it six times last month finished it up on the 11th and i like the pump I do like a pump with my products it just makes it so much easier to use your product okay another hair item that i didn't use often at all use it twice last month and again it's because it's a blow drying product it's the dove root lift spray for fine flat hair so you spritz it into your roots before you blow dry your hair i must have only blow dried my hair two or three times last month because that's all i've used this product and the other hair care item but like i said with that other hair care item hoping to blow dry my hair a little bit more frequently this month as the temperature drops so when that happens i will be using this the product itself it's okay i haven't really noticed a lot of volume or a lot of root lift in my hair as you can tell my hair is quite flat so i think in the future i'm just going to stop buying these products that claim to give you root lift because in my experience a lot of them don't but for now i'm happy using this product up i think i've got less than half of this just under half so two or three months Next is an empty that I don't have the packaging for. I don't know why I've gotten rid of the packaging for a couple of items and not the others. Don't know what happened there. But anyway, it is my Aven Soothing Redness Relief Mask. So it's a thick blue mask that doesn't set. You put on a thick layer on your face and your neck, leave it for about 10 minutes and then wash it off. And this is meant to calm down your skin, meant to reduce redness, meant to soothe the skin as well. And I do find that it did those things. When my skin was a bit pink, I'd pop it on and it would reduce the pinkness. Don't know if it would be very good at reducing a lot of redness or rosacea. Possibly not, I'm not too sure. But it is very soothing, it's very cooling, very hydrating as well. And I didn't notice any tingliness. And also it's really easy to wash off without a face cloth as well, which is good because if you're applying it because you have irritated skin, you don't want to further irritate your skin by using a face cloth. So a very nice mask, I enjoyed using it, but I'm not a mask person. Don't think I would have much use for this product in the future, so I wouldn't repurchase it. And in terms of usage, it took me four uses last month to use up, finished it up on the 29th. Next is a body lotion and it's a tanning body lotion. It's the Dove one, the Summer Revived. Only used this twice last month. I don't know why my usage of this was so low. I think I really need to step up my game next month, this month, September, and really up my usage on all of these items. I don't see why I can't alternate this one day, my Garnier body lotion the next day. Do it that way round, that way I can wear them equally, I can get through them and I can make sure I've got a nice even tan going on as well. 
This is a really nice tanning body lotion. It's a very natural colour, really easy to build. It's really easy to stop and control it as well and then go in in a couple of days perhaps and apply some more. It doesn't fade very patchily as well. So I really like this one. I think this one is much better than the Garnier one that's in the orange hourglass shaped bottle. This one is much better. The, the smell is really nice as well. It's not obviously that fake tan smell does make your body feel very soft and hydrated afterwards i tend to wear this of an evening though i don't like to put on any tight clothes so like a bra for example putting on a bra after a tanning lotion i'm a bit worried about sort of like transfer it might ruin the tan as well so this is an evening product for me i will leave it a few minutes though and that's just for my own personal state of mind i feel like i could get dressed straight away but i do like to leave it a little bit leave it a few minutes five minutes max and then i will put on some loose pajamas afterwards but i haven't noticed any transfer so if you're right about that i haven't noticed it with this product really like it nice gradual natural looking tan but i just definitely need to up my usage a body lotion i've worn more last month the Garnier Intensive 7 Days Hydrating Lotion with Aloe Vera. This is really lovely. This smells very, very soft. It's not an overpowering scent. I don't think it's a scent that a lot of people would dislike. It's not very heady or strong or heavily floral or heavily fruity. The Aloe Vera is very subtle. So it's a very soft, gentle, natural scent sinks in really really nicely this is a body lotion that feels very soothing and calming on the skin as well it's very sort of hydrating as well sinks in really quickly and easily so you can get dressed straight away after this one as well i'm not so sure with the hydration felt up to seven days i don't quite buy that after a couple of days of not moisturizing my body i have felt the need to so i don't really quite agree with that claim but on application it is a very nice hydrating body lotion garnier is very cheap as well and i would definitely repurchase this one but i do have a lot of this left i've got most of the bottle maybe about two thirds of this left so this will take a good couple months i think and i wore it nine times last month oh i'm just checking my notepad that body lotion i introduced on the 11th so i replaced the bayless and harding body lotion with that item so i replaced the body lotion with another body lotion and with my last product this is a new one that i must have replaced the foot cream with this i kind of struggled to know what item to put in my project pan and there's this one that is looking a little bit worse for wear <laughs> it's looking a little bit sad i'm not sure if this will last the month because there's not much left in it and the condition of it isn't great it's my opi nail mv so it's a nail strengthener you apply a couple of layers to bare nails. Every other day you then go in with one layer until you get to about a week later and then you remove it and do it all over again. And I love Nail Envy. I used to be a nail biter. And sometimes, even still when I'm quite stressed or quite anxious, I will sometimes bite my nails. So Nail Envy is what I used years ago to stop me nail biting because it makes your nails a lot thicker a lot stronger they grow super quickly as well this really does work but what i do find with nail envy is that i'll get about halfway through the bottle and then it will go quite thick and quite gloopy and it's not nice to work with and i've got about a centimeter of this left i don't have much of it left at all like i said i don't think it will last a month because it is very gloopy despite having put nail polish thinner in it it is quite tricky to work with when you paint it on your nails it does go a little bit bobbly a little bit streaky but it does still work so i am going to continue using it until i don't think i can get any more out of it and i do have a couple of other nail envies in my collection they're in here somewhere and they are they the pink colored ones so i do have a couple of other ones to work on but i want to get this one used up as much as i can so i think this one will take me the rest of the month and then I'll probably be done with it and I introduced that one on the 12th and I wore it six times so that's my update for August then so quite a good update I feel I finished off four items 
and I've now gotten to the point where I don't know what else to add into the project pan so I'm now down to a total of nine items so I feel like I've come on quite a good way this past month so pleased with my progress and I'm hoping by the next update what have we got the medicate press and glide will be done as will the nail envy so hopefully I will have two further empties for next month and hopefully some good progress on all of the other items as well but thank you so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon for my next one